r slash ask reddit, what fact about world history pisses you off the most? I was dismayed to learn that during the Irish potato famine in the 1800s there was plenty of food produced in Ireland. They just weren't allowed to keep it. A significant portion of the production was exported to England. England pretty much said, oh, you're starving to death? What do you want US to do? Skip afternoon tea. Also population wise Ireland still hasn't recovered. 8.5 million before famine and 7.1 million now. 100 years war wasn't a 100 years long. 123 years war doesn't have the same ring to it. Slavery still exists and for some stupid reason we are not all taking up arms to stop it. There are more slaves today than there were slaves and servants in 1860s. I've read too much history to be particularly pissed off at one single event. Destruction of books and tablets by invading forces over the years has caused a lot of information about some time periods to disappear. I think this one bothers me the most. In the beginning the universe was created. This has made a lot of people very angry and been widely regarded as a bad move. That humans never learn from history. People responsible for rape of Nanking was ultimately pardoned slash given immunity because it was Princess Aka who led that offensive and royal family got immunity from surrender. Also people in charge of Unit 731 was given immunity as long as they gave up research data because US didn't want Soviets to get their hands on it. Banning books is back in fashion. Yay, let's see where it leads this time. That social media is actively being manipulated to rewrite world history. Countries with an active interest in upsetting the status quo in favor of authoritarian governments are more than happy to pay thousands of people every day to influence social media in their favor. That basic knowledge of history that you hold will not be what your kids or grandkids believe. And judging by what we've seen in the past few years, it's gonna be a lot worse. The increase in Holocaust denial is a very real example of this. This is why I collect old books. The fact that the patent for insulin was sold for $1 so it could be available to everyone who needs it. So why are people dying because they can't afford insulin? Uniquely American problem. That insulin is still available very cheap. The problem is it is short acting and has very precise dosage and meal time and requirements. The expensive stuff is a version invented more recently which is slow acting, long lasting and allows diabetics much more freedom with their life and fewer side effects. That men do not learn very much from the lessons of history, is the most important of all the lessons that history has to teach. Aldous Huxley, Collected Essays. I find it extraordinary that the US is edging towards full-blown fascism. Credit scores became a thing the year I was born. FML. Gets to lounge around playing golf until his natural death too. Justice is truly negotiable. Oh, so it's your fault. I knew there was something fishy about that guy that keeps saying he's not a war cat but totally looks like one. WW1 happening in the first place. All that suffering and loss of life could have been avoided if we had drawn up resolutions like Geneva sooner and during peacetime. The Treaty of Versailles pisses me off just as equally. People of the time also pretty much wanted the war. Yeah but would the Geneva Conventions have ever been signed without the world wars happening in the first place? Feels like it would have kicked off at some point regardless of principle. We keep repeating the worst parts of it. Nah, we keep upstaging it. Nixon and Kissinger sabotaged peace talks between the US and North Vietnam. And Reagan and his crew sabotaged the Iran deal with Carter. Never be sad that Henry Kissinger is dead. Pull fucking pot. And it's more recent than people know. The Spanish conquistadors and priests burning thousands of Mesoamerican codices, which would have given us vast insight into pre-Columbian culture, history, religion. Literally thousands of years of historical and cultural records from a civilization just wiped out. Read about El Acto de F in Man, Yucatan, Mexico. Done by Bishop Diego de Landa. He burned down precious literature from the Mayas, by the thousands. Information lost forever. Edit, Bishop Diego de Landa. The fact that in the 1700s 1800s money was flowing into London from all over the empire, rich people got even richer, big houses built, infrastructure was improved but only in the west end. Yet in the east end of the same city people lived in abject poverty, prostitution for stale bits of bread was rife, whole families were in and out of workhouses. All that money and it didn't even get to the other side of the same damn city. East end boys and west end girls. The United States government tricked Native American women into getting sterilized without their consent because they wanted to destroy their population and steal more of their land. And this was only a few decades ago. By 1976, between 25 to 50% of Native American women of childbearing age were sterilized. 
Denmark did the same thing in Greenland. It fucked me up to learn that the British Army executed 306 soldiers for cowardice in WW1. Their cowardice? They had shell shock, PTSD, and were sent back into the war. If they had other symptoms of the shell shock, they were cowards. The more messed up part? I never learned this info in school. I learned it watching Torchwood as a kid. One fact about history that pisses me of the most is the saying, we learn about history so we don't repeat the same mistakes. It's not working. The British government hid toilets from the world for over a hundred years because the guy that invented them was critical of the monarchy. Okay now that's an interesting tidbit. This. It's the most surreal thing to me, the Khmer Rouge. How many countries killed off people to take their land? I was taught the pilgrims were nice people. Yeah I don't know how the narrative managed to turn from these guys were too stringent for 1600s England to happy little settlers who needed a little help from the friendly natives and there was peace and friendship. Bunch of buckleheads that got kicked out of England because they were being dicks. Schools trick kids into thinking they were these poor persecuted folks just looking for a place to be nice and farm in peace though. People consistently vote against their own interests. People unwilling to learn from history. The strange mass disappearances from the likes of Roanoke or Spanish soldiers. Mary Celest. Like they had to have gone somewhere, but no one has any concrete answers because in the early 1900s or thousands of years ago, there wasn't the technology to find or look for. All we have is creepy stories. I want firm answers damn it. What happened to them? Mass murder with no trail or all personal belongings still left as they were. Give me the answers. Sack of Constantinople. The fact that pretty much all cultures throughout history subjugate women. And subjugate is a mild term, really, for what it is slash was. Rape, slavery, dehumanization, disenfranchisement, forced pregnancy all while men live normal lives. To be fair though, not a lot of people take holidays in Cambodia. That we refuse to learn the lessons of history and we watch the same bigotry repeat itself over and over ad infinitum. All of it is disappointing. It would have to be surprising to piss me off. The last team to clinch the pennant at Old Yankee Stadium is the 2004 Boston Red Sox. Nah, that's fucking great. That the Tiananmen Square massacre is being erased from history. USA using chemical warfare in the Vietnam War going against the Geneva Protocol. Literally everything about the American Vietnam War. The destruction of the environment for short-term profits. Still going on but it's been going on for as long as humans have existed. Burning the library at Alexandria. Or the Library of Baghdad. For perspective, Star Wars was in theaters before Pol Pot's genocide of the Cambodian people. It sounds like the good guys seem to always have won every war. It's almost as if the winners get to tell the tale. The never-ending cycle of wars. Fighting in the name of religion. I mean I get it happening ages ago when people lacked access to other information and for most people they were simply indoctrinated based on where they were born. However the fact that it's still going on now, even among different subsects of the same religion is crazy. The worst thing is most if not all the awful acts carried out in the name of a religion go against what that religion actually stands for and is simply just used as a tool by those in power. Probably Hitler killing 6 million Jews. And 5 to 6 million other minorities, including the handicapped. You can never fully 100% know the exact truth for certain because everything is retold and variations of truth exist between different countries. Things have been lost or destroyed. The Vietnamese sorted it out and got invaded by China for their trouble. His Wikipedia entry is bizarrely positive. Well, far more diplomatic than I was expecting, at the least. Hello everyone. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to humbly ask you to subscribe to the channel. According to my statistics, 100% of my viewers in the past 28 days are not subscribed. I have always wanted this channel to reach 1000 subscribers, and if you want to support and be a part of that, subscribe. It's free and it's an awesome way to support the channel. Thanks again, Reddit glitch out.